So breaking right now, an exclusive new, new interview with former President Trump, who just spoke with our congressional correspondent, Aisha Hasni, after his meetings with Republican lawmakers in Washington. And Aisha joins us now. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Martha. Good to see you. Well, yes, Trump snuck in a quick interview with me as he is now on his way back to Mar-a-Lago after quite a whirlwind tour of Capitol Hill, at least outside Capitol Hill, all across Washington, D.C., talking with Republicans in the House and the Senate and really trying to unite the party, not only behind him, but really to be able to tell voters that you will be in good hands if you re-elect Senate and House Republicans. He wants to win back majorities in both chambers. And as he departs, if he didn't already create some chaos around the city, a buzz, he also made a ton of news in my one-on-one -on -one exclusive interview. I asked him if he had chosen his vice president, if he knew it. I think, Martha, you'll remember, I believe he was telling you and uh, Brett Baer on a, a national stage during a town hall in Iowa that uh, he already knew his VP pick. And here's what he told me. Listen. Do you know who your VP is? Because you told us at a town hall you already knew back in the yeah. Iowa caucuses. I have sort of a pretty good idea. Look, we have some really talented people. I have a pretty good idea, but uh, I think it's pr probably I'll do it the way it's usually done. You announce it. At Male, the female. Can you give us a hint? I'll tell you. I'll Now, he knows that Democrats are watching his every move, and right now they are blowing something up that he said about the RNC host city, Milwaukee, apparently calling the city horrible. I asked him to explain, Martha, and he said that he was talking about the crime in the city and the election integrity issues, and he says that Democrats are just making a big fuss about nothing. He also made some pretty big news on the campaign trail. Um, you'll remember that there was some back and forth between uh, the Trump campaign campaign, the RNC, and Larry Hogan, the former governor of Maryland, because he was telling voters and Americans to respect that New York verdict that came down against uh, the former president. And I asked him, uh, do you support, will you support Larry Hogan and will you endorse him? And he said, yeah, I guess I am here endorsing Larry Hogan. He's going to be behind him 100 percent. I also asked him about Hunter Biden, and I also asked him about many, many more things, including his uh, conversation with Mitch McConnell coming face to face with the GOP leader for the first time. He said he had a pleasant conversation with the leader after four years of bad blood. A lot more news from that interview. Martha. Uh, very interesting. I should thank you very much. A little burying the hatchet there um, between McConnell and Trump today uh, as they unify to support the former president uh, as he runs again. I should thank you very much. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.